best in town. Can I drink? Spanish latte. First sippy. With a pinky. <laughs> This girl was hella digging in, trying to cut her damn avocado toast and broke the damn <laughs> fork. edit two I'm recording because we did get a new mic well it's not new it's pretty old but uh I just finally got the right connections for it but anyway let's give you all an update on the shoes here are the shoes now been a couple of days maybe uh two days after a good wash this is what they're looking like so basically the whole idea was just to give them like a, a vintage kind of worn in look um after cleaning I feel like some of it may have came off a little bit uh, the stain but uh, for the most part it's pretty good like I didn't want to overdo it too much I feel like for sure this shoe has more but like I said I didn't want to overdo it so yeah let me know what y'all think it's just a little idea that I had I've been wanting to do it for a long time I did it with the laces let me show y'all the laces for sure have like a creamy look to them and actually now that uh, it's quite down a little bit let me show y'all the shoes outside So here's the shoes outside for the focus. So yeah, let me know what y'all think. I'm not entirely sure if y'all care about this, but contemplating wearing these. And I know I said I don't really wear Jordans anymore because they are uncomfortable, which they really are. But I'm contemplating wearing these. Shout out to Steve. Uh, 2001 breads, but this happens. So I'm contemplating wearing these. I think it's worth the risk. Everything else is intact. It's just this. I don't know what will happen. What do y'all think? Should I do it? Find out on the next episode. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna spoil the episode for y'all. I don't wanna be uncomfortable. No matter if it's fashions or not. I don't like being uncomfortable, so. Can't go wrong with the Burks. And switched up the socks. Get yours on playmanp.com. All right, y'all, we just picked up the hoodies. Sheesh. That shit is fire. It's puff print too. So you can see it. And then. Look, it's like when I point to a plant, I can just. Mm -hmm. Hey, hello. So we're back at Mickey's. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Taking some photos. And. Oh, wait. So I'm wearing a size medium, but yeah. I like it to be really loose. Yeah. It looks humongous. Like, it looks like I'm swimming. Nah, it's still, it looks fire, though. We are shooting with Old Faithful X100V. So, these photos should be fire. Alright, so we just left Mickey's. Took some photos. We'll show you guys what they look like. And we actually met a supporter, I guess you can say. Sue. Sarah, Sue. Yeah, Sue. Sue. Um, which is really cool, you know? Like, we like seeing and meeting you guys, like, in person. Uh, usually it's all, like, social media, and then when you meet somebody in person, it's like, oh, shit, you know? So, it's pretty cool. Always remember, if you see us in person, say what's up. Yeah, we're actually, like, regular people. Yeah, not like, nah, nah. Like, no pictures, please. Like, <laughs> no, nah, you can't take no photos. No, we're not like that. So if you always see us, or if you see us in public, always remember to say what's up. But yeah, so we just took those photos. I'll show you guys what they look like once I finish uploading and go through them and shit. But uh, 
pretty excited. I'm pretty excited on how they turned out. And again, they are on the website right now. Yeah. I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say. All right. <laughs> Besides, oh, we should take some pictures here. I love the colors here. All right, BRB. So if, if you guys watch the girls just want to have fun movie. Oh, there's a fucking groundhog in there or something. I just saw something come out of here. Or, oh, fucking A, it's over there. All right. Yeah, anyway, oh, there's more. If you guys have watched that movie, we are actually at a uh, location, a shooting location that they shot at, which I think is super fire. You know, you got to pay attention to the details. And this is one of the details that I do uh, enjoy. We've never done anything like this. So I think it's pretty dope that, uh, you know, we're going to the actual location of one of the scenes to shoot some photos of the hoodie. And now I am wearing it. Can you show them what extra large looks like? Mm -hmm. So this is what an extra large looks like. Nice. So yeah, we are at one of the locations right now. And uh, I think it's just over this hill. Yeah, but they told us to just go right there. So, but yeah, we're at one of the locations, like I continuously said. And look at this, we're by like Griffith, it's uh, by Griffith Park. So we're like right near the, uh, whatchamacallit, the museum and all that bullshit. But yeah, so I'll catch back up with y'all when we actually get to the location. Okay, so we couldn't find the exact tree, but we did still take some fire photos. But this is the area, we promise. Crystal Springs? Crystal Springs Park, we think. Oh no, Crystal something. Crystal something. All right, y'all, so we are at the end of the video. And this is the mic I was talking about, the new one. Uh, hopefully this sounds better. I'm sure it sounds more crisp. But uh, we are at the end of the video. We are just a little bit shy of that eight minute mark. So I'm just coming in on the end talking shit. But anyway, um, girls just want to have plants. That is what this video is mostly mainly about. It was for some reason, I thought this video would be way longer. This is like two weeks almost of just compounded clips. But uh, yeah, it's only like Right now, it's 7 minutes and 37 seconds. But, all right, so let me just stop rambling, get to the chase. PlantManP.com, Girls Just Want to Have Plants hoodie is officially restocked. So we did a little soft launch uh, before, and they sold out pretty fast. So now we are doing another restock. It's going to be a pre-order, meaning you can purchase however many items you want. Um, and it's from small to 2X. So uh, get as many items as you want. And I know that it is pretty expensive. It's 75 bucks. But uh, so let me explain. So the hoodie is super premium. The uh, the print is puff print. So it is obviously a little bit more expensive to produce. So not only the cost of the hoodie, but the cost of the print. So it is pretty expensive for us to produce, hence the pretty expensive price. But if it's not expensive for you, then thank you. I appreciate you purchasing. Um, but I do understand it is kind of pricey for a hoodie. So here's a... Uh, a caveat if that's the correct term um the caveat is that you are able to make uh installments on the website i checked it and it is uh 1875 or something like that uh four installments of 1875 and the hoodie can be yours interest free uh they just collect it whenever they want the payment or whenever you select the payment they meaning shopify we are not in charge of that but yeah like i said there's no interest super easy they just take it directly out of the account bada bing bada boom the hoodie is yours all right so playmanp.com this is Geraldine's first uh stepping out into the fashion world so i hope you guys like this um we did work really hard on this i'm very proud of Geraldine for doing this uh that so the design is actually her writing which is super fire but yeah so the color is pistachio a super uh eye appealing eye catching aesthetically pleasing hoodie color so uh yeah man playmanp.com girls just want to have plants hoodie has officially been restocked and that's it i don't got nothing else to say so it's your boy playman p 
I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.